Then I took a smidge and applied it down there. This one's wife. She's hating all of this. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. King Charles III has been diagnosed with cancer. Harry has flown home to see his father. There is detailed coverage of this development around the world's media. This one's wife has remained in Monty shit show. This development is something that she will hate. Why? Because it's about other people and not her. As a narcissist, she needs to be the centre of attention. She needs to be the main character. She needs to be the one that is the focus of people's responses. And like any narcissist, the narcissist cannot stand it if that attention and focus is going to somebody else. Narcissists cannot stand other people to be unwell because it takes focus away from them. Also, there is an expectancy, and this is recognised by mid-range narcissists in particular, of sympathy being issued by the narcissist towards the person who is unwell. In some instances, the expectation of support and compassion. Some narcissists will provide it where it suits facade management, and it doesn't require a huge amount of input from them. But for the most part, whilst the narcissist expects you to telephone for an ambulance when they suffer a fractured eyelash, where you've fallen down the stairs and broken your leg, you're told to get up, you're just play acting, there's nothing wrong with you. Or that begrudgingly, the narcissist will provide you with some assistance. But the fact is, absent emotional empathy, the narcissist is not naturally motivated to help you. And instead, the narcissism will only allow that help to be provided where the narcissism deems that it's something that will enable the narcissist to gain. So, for instance, the narcissist, particularly mid-range, may well help you if it assists the issue of control over you and the provision of fuel, and most importantly of all, enables the narcissist to look good in the eyes of other people. It might, of course, be done for the purpose of currying favour to secure some kind of outcome from the person who's unwell, perhaps a payment for providing assistance. For this one's wife, she will be hating the fact that all of these comments, all of the sympathy, all of the support is being directed to King Charles. It has to be about her, not him. Furthermore, the fact that Harry has flown back is also a problem. The fact that he has done something in relation to somebody else and not her threatens her subconscious need for control over him. It may well be the case that he's in the golden period, having a respite period, and therefore she has given her approval for him to go back. Yes, you must go. You need to see that your father is okay. Because he's being treated in a benign way because of this respite period, she allows him to go, thus asserting control through agreement, and makes it known locally, amongst the people around them, that he got her blessing to go. He doesn't need her blessing. Ordinarily, you don't need the blessing of your spouse when a member of your family is serious, has a serious diagnosis such as cancer. But remember, the grandiosity and haughtiness of this one's wife is such that she believes herself to be Queen of Montecicco and that she can allow Harry to go, that he has her blessing. There may also be the possibility that she didn't want him to go. It's not that serious. You don't need to go this instant. He's just looking for sympathy. There's plenty of people there to look after him. You've got a family here, Harry. She may well have sought to triangulate him and utilise guilt to stop him from going. And that's something that commonly a narcissist would do. Where the intimate partner primary source says... I'm going to go away from you and go and spend time with somebody else, that is a threat to the narcissist's need for control. It also means that a large segment of the fuel that she receives is being taken away, and the narcissism will not like it. Therefore, it causes the narcissist to issue what's known as a preventative hoover, 
Although Harry's not ending the relationship, he is moving away from her for a period of time by flying overseas, and the narcissism will not like that. Therefore, it compels her to take action to try and prevent it from happening. A middle mid range narcissist such as her is most likely to use guilt and pity play. How can I manage without you? We've got important things going on here, Harry. He's got plenty of help. You'll be able to go and see him later on, but now's not a good time. Evidently, it failed. So either he's in a respite period when she gave him the blessing to go, or Harry, despite the attempts to guilt trip him into staying, decided, no, I'm going, and therefore rejected her preventative hoover. The fact that all the talk is about Charles, the talk is about Harry, the talk is about William, will not go down well with her at all. I wouldn't be surprised if we start to see some more PR puff pieces being pumped out in order to try and take that attention away from King Charles's diagnosis. But there's an even bigger threat on the horizon for this one's wife, which means she's hating all of this. And that is the possibility that an event such as this could jolt Harry out of his fog and lead to reconciliation. This one's wife does not want reconciliation to occur. Reconciliation takes the focus away from her. It means that Harry comes more under the control of his family and not her. It means that her carefully constructed situation in the United States then comes under threat because it may well be the case that Harry would want to return to the United Kingdom and move his family back there. That is a massive threat to her control, essentially having to return to the lion's den. A reconciliation also means that Harry, in effect, would be seen to forgive the members of his family for what they'd done towards her. And it's for her to issue that forgiveness, not the him. And in the circumstances, the fact of her having to make nice with the royal family because there's been a reconciliation is another threat to her control. The fact that Harry is steered towards reconciliation is a threat to control. The fact that he has cordial relations again with members of his family, particularly the nemesis, amounts to a threat to control. And therefore, in the circumstances, him going weakens her control over him and raises the spectre of reconciliation, which is hugely problematic. She will, of course, be hoovering Harry hard, telephoning him, messaging him, ensuring that he is under control. She'll also want to be receiving information from Harry about what's going on, what the diagnosis is, how serious it is, what treatment he's having, what stage the king's cancer is at. And, because she is no respecter of boundaries, there is every chance that this information will find its way into the public domain, leaked by her. Essentially, she will approach it on the basis of, I know something you don't. It's typical of narcissists to revel in holding information that other people do not have, because that knowledge is power with regard to the issue of control and fuel. And therefore, she will want to lay her hands on this information. But at this moment in time, She's very much hating the situation that has arisen. Publicly, she'll have to maintain a facade of concern, that it's awful what's happened and we all wish him well, although there has been no public statement from her so far. But her facade management will be such that it will want to ensure that she shows to the world that she is a kind and caring person. Privately, she couldn't give a rat's ass about what happens to Charles Indeed, she will find this development wholly annoying, irritating and irksome because it takes the focus away from her and places it elsewhere. And it's also threatening her control over Harry. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.